The Edmonton Oilers will be without their top defenseman, Darnell Nurse, for Game 6 against the Los Angeles Kings. What did he do? How long will he be out? We'll discuss that coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we have our first suspension of the 2022 Stanley Cup playoffs. The Edmonton Oilers are going to be without their top defenseman, Darnell Nurse, for Game 6 as he has received a one-game suspension from the Department of NHL Player Safety for headbutting against LA Kings center Iceman Phil Deneau. Now, in last night's Game 5 action, at one point, Nurse was battling with Deneau in front of the net. They both were kind of swatting at each other with their sticks, nothing really overly serious. And then Nurse turned around and went at Deneau uh, head first, uh, which was a pretty clear cut headbutt. Of course, we knew earlier today that the Department of Player Safety was looking into things. Uh, there really isn't a lot of history in the NHL when it comes to headbutts, but there has been a couple recently uh, during the past year. We saw Chris Weidman in Montreal as well as Pavel Buchnevich uh, in St. Louis both get banned for the same type of play. Now, of course, this one to me, you could make an argument, might be a little bit more egregious then the Weidman one, maybe a little more comparable to the Buchnevich one. Weidman received one game, and I believe Buchnevich received two. Nurse gets one playoff game, which is essentially equivalent to two or more uh, playoff games. They, they usually give like a two-to-one ratio for you know because the games are that much more important. I mean, there were some that thought maybe he'd get away with a fine, but the only way that was going to happen is he'd have to sell one heck of a good excuse during his hearing to the player safety department as to why he did what he did or what led him to do that. And I'm not really sure there's really a lot he could do or say to justify himself. It was an unprovoked situation. They were battling in front of the net, but it certainly wasn't um, you know, justified for that. The Edmonton Oilers are in a situation now where they're going into L.A. for Game 6, down three games to two, uh, facing elimination without their top defenseman. Uh, they already had, uh, you know, not a great start to the last game. Uh, they ended up having to adjust things and put McDavid and Dreisaitl together. Um, it certainly generated a lot of offense near the end to get things tied up. But again, too many penalties coming back to bite them, and the Oilers are just... Not able to get the job done. No secondary scoring. And, of course, Nurse can quite often pitch in on, on that sometimes, too. And, obviously, good puck mover back there. So, you know, say what you want. I know he's made some defensive mistakes. And he's not, you know, the absolute best defensively. But he does generate a lot. And it's really a big part of their attack. So, having Nurse not be in the lineup is going to be a big problem. I'm not sure if they're going to go either bring in Chris Russell. They could call up Philip Broberg. Maybe they bring in both of them and go with 11-7. That's a possibility. Of course, having one less forward means even more ice time for the uh, the big guns that are getting the job done because they're not getting much in the way of secondary scoring uh, throughout the rest of the lineup. So, I don't know. The Oilers are in trouble. Uh, down three games to two, facing elimination. And now no Darnell Nurse for game six on a big dummy play, in my opinion, to get himself suspended. So let me know what your thoughts are. I will put a link to NHL player safety's decision in the pinned comment down below if you want to see the play. That's what you got to do to do it. And uh, let me know what you think, if you agree with this or not. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and stick around. We'll keep you up to date with all the latest news, rumors, and analysis on all 32 NHL teams. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Hello.